Hello, my name is Ryan. Today we're going to be looking at the C rating for a lithium polymer battery pack for RC applications. Now, how many C ratings do you think exist on a battery pack for RC applications? If you don't know the answer, you'll find out shortly in this video. So let's get started. The big question of today is what is the C rating for a radio control lithium polymer battery pack? Well, the C rating is actually a multiplier, and that multiplier is used in order to calculate or determine the maximum continuous current that you can discharge from a particular battery pack. That C rating can range in values anywhere from 10C to about 65C, and of course, outside this range is also quite uh, possible. However, you will commonly see anywhere from these days 25C to about 65C. Now the question that we have next is how do we actually calculate these values? What do we need in order to do that? Well obviously we need a battery pack. It would be easy to have a calculator and then you can calculate the actual continuous discharge current of that particular battery pack. So I have a couple examples with me today. Let's start off with this black battery made by Turnigy Graphene and we'll look at what some of the properties are of this. So we can see that this is a 5.0. This refers to 5,000 milliamp hour. Uh, a couple other things that we have that we know about it is it's a 65C battery pack. And of course we know that it's a 22.2 volt, but that doesn't really come into play for what we need to do today. So let's go ahead and start this calculation. First thing we need is that 5.0. So we, if we had milliamp hour here, we would start off with our 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack. And then what we would do is we would divide that by 1,000. We need our answer in amp hours. So we would have to go with the 5,000 divided by 1,000 gives us five. So we take the five amp hour and we can now multiply that by the C rating of the pack. I look on the pack and it says it's a 65 discharge, 65C discharge. So I take that 65C and I multiply that by the five amp hour and I'm left with 325 amps. So this battery, according to its label, states that it can discharge at a rate of 325 amps continuously. Let's jump into another example. Let's take this green pack that I have. It's made by Pulse. It's got a bunch of numbers on the front of this as well, starting with the 35C and it also says 4100 milliamp hour. So if I take the 4100 milliamp hour, I do the exact same thing, I divide that by 1000, I get 4.1 amp hour. I then take that 4.1 amp hour and I multiply that by the 35C. So I'll use my calculator to take the 4.1 amp hour and I'm multiplying that by the 35C, I get 143.5 amps. That is what this pack can discharge continuously. So that's how you get the actual continuous discharge rate of your battery pack based on that C rating. Now that C rating is the one that is most commonly represented on the front of the battery pack. Uh, however, it's not the only C rating for a particular battery pack. There are a couple others. Now these other C ratings, you do need to know at least one of them. The one is not so important, that being the peak discharge of the battery pack itself. This is typically anywhere from 50 to 100% more than the maximum continuous discharge current. So if your C rating of the battery pack is 35C, you may expect somewhere of 70C for your peak. And you could, of course, use that for any other battery pack as well. If it's 65C, you multiply that by two and that could be your peak. This number is really not that relevant for uh, what we need. However, it is a C rating that does appear on some battery packs. Uh, the other one that is a little bit more important is the charge rate. So it does come in the form of C ratings. If I take this battery pack that I have here, this one here has a C rating for charge of at least 10C. So 10C, if I take the, the capacity in amp hour of 5.0 and multiply that by 10, I will get something like 50 amps. 50 amps charge rate is crazy. It is very high. My typical rule is I don't charge more than 3C. My absolute maximum is 5C charge rate. I don't ever exceed a 5C charge rate. I think 5C charging is super fast. Anything more than that, and I think it's very excessive. You can find packs that are higher than 10Z. This pack actually may be higher than 10Z. I know the 45C variant of this is actually at 10Z. So the 65C variant of this battery pack may have a charge rating 
of higher than 10 C. I don't know, I'd have to look that specification up. However, this pack here, I know that this had in its time, this is an older pack, it's at least a few years old, if not more, and it is saying that a safe charge rate is about three to five C for this. So that is typically where I am at. I don't normally go more than three C, an absolute maximum for myself is five C. So now we have the question of, how do you know what C rating is best for your application? Well, there's a couple things that actually work its way into this. One of them is, what is your application? Is your application requiring a small battery pack to fit in confined locations or spots and you need to have a light battery pack because you're placing this into an aircraft that needs a certain weight target in order to fly very well? That will come in play in getting your C rating for the battery pack as a higher C rate typically is a heavy, heavier battery pack and it's also physically larger. Another factor that will play right into your C rating is the actual discharge that you need. Now I would recommend that you have an absolute minimum of 30% headroom. If you know that your RC application is going to draw 100 amps continuously, you need to make sure that you come in at at least 130 amps continuous. This way you'd have to work back through the C rating in order to determine what C rating for your battery is applicable to you and your application. These are the things that I would follow. Now there's one thing that I do have to say. Um, if you are looking at a battery pack and you are not limited by budget, you're not limited by physical size, you're not limited by weight, you can really get whatever battery pack you need or want, um, getting a very high C rating when you don't need it is perfectly safe and okay. If your pack is this right here in my hand and it can deliver over 300 amps continuous, that does not mean your motor is going to be pulling 300 amps. The motor is only going to pull what it requires based on its load. It's not gonna pull the capabilities of the battery pack. The C rating just tells you what the battery is actually capable of delivering. If your motor is only gonna take 10 amps and this thing can deliver 300, it's only gonna take 10 amps. If it's loaded for 10 amps, it takes the 10 amps. That's one thing to keep in mind. So getting the highest C rating that you possibly can is going to make it the safest for all of your battery packs and even your power system. That pretty well concludes this video. If you're looking for more videos similar to this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.